So we just went with the old Dodge setup back to the, the crooked arm going underneath. See where I just beat the living daylights out of that to get it off. So all that work just to go back to what we had. But, but you know, my buddy Andrew always said, you know, the matter those suspension components look, the better they work usually. So I'm going to say it needs that bend. It's in it for a reason. Not really sure why, but the bump steer was pretty severe. So now we just bought a drop pitman arm, put the rest of stuff just back to stock. And I went ahead and I ordered end links. So these are longer end links uh, for a 94 Ram 1500. Saw that on the Ram charger site. They were like, you know, if you want to keep the sway bar rolling, just uh, put those on. So I'm, I'm hoping it'll help with the with the soft springs to get down the highway. But then we'll have to figure out a way to to disconnect it to do a little off roading. But we'll we'll deal with that later. But right now we're just going to try out this steering setup and I figured out why it was binding. They had it backwards. I could see where it had been hitting. When I bought it, this was over here. So when you turned, let's see if I can get her to turn to the right. Oh, let me grab the steering shaft here. So when you turn to the right here, it's pulling that thing. Before it was binding, you couldn't get that far when the suspension was down. It's having trouble. But now when I hit the stop on the knuckle that's, that's built into the knuckle, it just barely is clearing, which is fine. That's, that's great. And this is at full droop here. So it just barely clears. But now we should be able to turn to the right. I mean, that thing's turned to the right now. With that short Chevy setup, it just didn't, didn't want to turn to the right. Drag link just wasn't long enough. But now with the drop pitman arm, it should work pretty good. So we'll see what happens when we get down the road.